Good morning from the harbour side out here in Bali. I'm on the way to Nusa Penida. I've got my backpack, I've got my front pack, I've got my luggage, I've got my man bag, I've got pretty much everything. It's about 30, 30, 40, well, 30, 45 minute journey to Nusa Penida Island. The waves are heavy today. Um, I don't know whether you guys can hear it or not. Am I following him? Yes. Alright. And, um, yeah, it should, be a, it should be a nice little fun journey and I'll see you guys in New Spanina Island. It is hectic out here, so much noise, so many people, it's crazy. As you guys saw, that was literally like uh, a scene from Pablo Escobar or something like trying to get onto a boat. I was surprised that they didn't really have like a docking system or something like that where you can actually easily walk across like a bridge or something like that. But uh, yeah, it was quite, quite an interesting uh, interesting move, especially because there was definitely people coming off the boat and on the boat that had some obviously, I guess you could say, accessibility difficulties to get onto the boat, uh, either due to physical size or due to age or whatever it is. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this trip. This is. Uh, this is what it looks like. <laughs> now this is the downstairs obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come here because it looks like it's gonna rain soon. Because obviously there's an uh, open roof area as well in case you are wanting to live the high life and uh, go down the route. So uh, yeah, 30, 45 minutes on a speedboat. And I'll see you guys in New Spanina soon. Okay, so I've just arrived to Nusa Panida Island. I've got my bags, my little rainproof huncho. Huncho is that what it's called? And uh, I've got my bro out here helping me out carrying my bag. Luckily, on the way to the port, I didn't have a hotel or anywhere to stay. So on the way, I did a quick Google search to find where the nearest place is near the port. Decided to book something out there. So currently walking barefoot. As you can see, ah, oh, so many stones. Oh, ah, so many stones. Out, that hurts. Out, that hurts. Well, that hurts. Nice, nice. I'm gonna just quickly drop my stuff off at this uh, hotel. And I have arrived in my fancy hut. There is no single light in this room, which means once again, once the sun goes down, this place is gonna be pretty much dark. I do, however, have a TV, which means uh, I'm gonna get some light, I guess, in the room. The water flow is to a bare minimum, same with the shower. I paid 15 pound per night and I'm staying here for two nights. So you get what you pay for at the end of the day. But all I needed was a bed, a bathroom, and somewhere to wash my hands, I guess. I didn't, I don't really ever use the TV anywhere I go. But regardless, I think uh, this is where I start my journey of going around the island of Nusa Penida. So here we go. Bali or any of the other islands, you'll soon learn that there's a huge culture for anime. And for those that know me, I love anime. So I just came across this bike and it's got uh, Goku and Gohan in different forms. How sick is this? Good morning from Pura Goa Giri Putri Temple out here in Nusa Penida. It's one of the main spots on Google Maps when you are looking for places to visit outside of the amazing beautiful beaches. This temple is actually towards the north of Nusa Penida. 20 25 minutes uh, drive from the port where I arrived and where my hotel is. Yeah, I'm just uh, taking this amazing walk step to go and visit this, uh, this beautiful magnificent temple. So let's go. this let me just show you through that small area from the top and make your way down the guy was pointing towards the the small tiny hole to go actually get into this cave and i didn't actually believe him to actually go inside and then expect this massive massive cave full of temples full of people full of shrines full of people just worshiping it's incredible i have to watch my head this uh, place is full of bats on the roof and on the ground is full of crabs, small tiny crabs that you can only see every now and then wiggling about during under the light. And uh, this place is incredible. I have to be really quiet right now because there's people praying. But uh, take a look at this.
It is really, really dark. I've got my little selfie light on for my camera and there is a dog sleeping there. I am not going to go there. Super scary. This is a, a massive, beautiful cave. They, there is a temple inside. In fact, there are multiple, well, I think there is one temple, but multiple places of worship out here. It is, uh, it is very interesting, very beautiful. As you can see, this, this place is huge, it's humongous. I think I'm on the way to the exit right now. In all honesty, I don't know. I'm just following the people that are going up the scale. Who knows? I might have to just make a U-turn. I hope it's not the same way in because getting in downwards is already difficult. Going up is going to be even more difficult, so... Wow, what an experience. I'm finally out and I just realized that it's actually more hotter outside than it was inside that cave, to be honest with you. It was just really, really humid in there. You just start sweating for no reason. Definitely worth it for the amount you pay for the entrance fee and a donation. 100% worth it. You need to experience. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Da, 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 da.